Hello everyone. Yep, this is Patty the hillbilly. Anyways, I'm getting ready to make some soap. I'm going to make some chickweed. So I thought I would give you a view of chickweed. Yes, and it's grown right outside in my little flower bed that Danny and I had made in the spring. And those are more... Or yeah, morning glories. I have uh, one four o'clock right there, but we are interested in the chickweed. And I already have some olive oil that's been um, infused in chickweed for probably about six months, and that's what I'm going to use. But I thought maybe you would be interested in seeing. And yes, it grows everywhere. It loves um, shade and also a little bit of sun. And um, Danny weeded this whole area. And then I said, stop! <laughs> so I don't have as much. But usually it is just piled high all around the um, outside near the house. So... Anyways, that's all I had left, but that's okay because they will come back. All right, I guess I will get in there and make some soap. Well, I brought in some and I forgot to tell you. Let's do an identification. I don't know if you're interested in any of this stuff, but you know how I love my herbs. Anyways, the flower here looks like it has 10 petals, but if you look real close, I hope it focuses. Get focused in there. Come on. All right. If you look real close, let me see if I can get this one back around here. All right. It only has five. It just has that split in the middle and it looks like it has 10 petals but it doesn't it has five and they do have a um a weed out there that looks similar to chickweed but chickweed is very easy to identify and if you look let's see uh, it's hard to do and sit here and watch. Okay, let's get a good leaf. All right. Right here on the back side. You see where the back of it is? Um, with the main vein, if it has uh, red spots going up it, then that's the poison one. You don't want it. So you always look at that. And this is what it looks like. And there's sometimes um, at different times of the year, whatever, it's not a pointed thing, but it doesn't have any tooths on it. And the stem, if you could look real, real close, it does have a little bit of fur on it, or fuzz, if you will. But the leaves usually are very, very on this side are very smooth so and this will grow I got <laughs> that don't belong in there that's not part of it but anyways it would grow like a um, a ground cover so just look in moist rich soil areas um, and if it has shade and a little bit of sun, that's where you'll find it. Alrighty, I think I'm done. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Yep, get ready to make our chickweed soap. And I'm going to make the half bars. And then later on, um, I will make the full bars and they will probably be unscented. And I have my Bennonite clay and some sea clay already getting hydrated in my oil. And to make an extra boost, 
my lye water is uh, chickweed tea, or yeah, chickweed tea, and a little bit of aloe vera juice to top it up to um, the amount that I need. Chickweed, why are we using it? It's an anti-inflammatory big bang properties with eczema, psoriasis, and rosacea. Um, it is also been uh, uh, for many, many years, I should say, uh, always used as a wound healing herb. Uh, it helps stimulate circulation, also speeds up the healing using it in a compress or a poultice. It's very soothing to the skin. You can put it in your bath water too for rashes of any sorts, itchiness. That's what it is very soothing to the skin for poison oak, insect bites, uh, sunburn. If you have dry, itchy skin, it is very good to use. And we're not talking about the properties of ingestion, uh, taking it orally. Yes, there's been ins and outs, and people have been doing it for ages. But you just have to do research on that. This is uh, four uh, our skin only, uh, transdermal, and it has all a, a whopping pack of vitamins in it, especially vitamin C, which we know that if you use it in heating it, because it is a water-soluble vitamin, you're not going to stay with it. Um, one thing that was very nice about using chickweed, and I remember my granny doing it, is if you have splinters in your hands, can't get it out, it is such a good drawing out, um, has great drawing out properties, in other words, you know, pulling, uh, make a, a tea with it. And then let it get down to just a warm um, temperature. Stick your finger in it or wherever the it fits your foot or whatever. Stick it into the tea, the chickweed tea, and leave it in there for a few minutes. And guess what? Yes, you will get that splinter out. Isn't that amazing? Especially when it's a really fine one. Um, I used it when I was in Arizona, and um, prickly pear, I was making the prickly pear juice and making syrup and jellies with it, and oh, I tell you, those things are all oh, fine little hairs, you know, pickers, and they would get down into my fingers, and oh my goodness, it was just so hard when I'm trying to burn off and singe, you know, the the pickers off on that cacti. So anyways, let's get geared up and let's make some soap. Um, I've got my clays already being hydrated. I am going to put a little bit of uh, green mica in part of it just to give it a little bit contrast. And then the other one I'm going to put some titanium dioxide. Uh, just a little bit to keep it about the color that it is. Alrighty, that's enough of the yakking, Patty. If I can get this off. Okay, I forgot to tell you what my scent is going to be. Lavender and lemongrass. Yes. And it smells so good. I'm going to put that in right now. Just so that it can be tempered. And the essential oils combined with my clays. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. I don't know what it is about lemongrass and lavender. Lavender and lemongrass. I have no idea. Okay. I guess I'll just use this right here. All right. Oh, what else was I going to say? I do not know. So, I guess this is the part where I will speed her up. So, yeah.
Good morning. Turned out beautiful. The colors, just adding that little bit of mica. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Nice and hard. My goodness, is it hard? Is the swirls and I will be cutting it in half. Alrighty, cut in half. I love it that they're tall and I love just the size of it. Okay, I will cut this one and bid you adieu. Hope everybody has a wonderful, blessed day making soapy bubbles or whatever. Get this thing loaded up. Nice hard bars. There you go. All right. I'll tag the pictures on the end and see you later. Stay out of trouble.